Hi friends, in this video we are going to discuss the packet tracer activity verifying IPv4 and IPv6 addressing. Before coming to this activity, uh, friends, if you are watching my channel first time or if you like to get this type of uh, videos in future, uh, consider subscribing. Also, don't forget to enable that bell icon near to our subscribe button so that you will get the notification message whenever we upload a new video. Okay, we will come back to our activity. Here we can see our addressing table uh, which is incomplete. Here we can uh, see uh, PC1 and PC2 IPv4, IPv6 address uh, is not specified. Okay, here we can see our objectives. In part 1, complete the addressing table documentation. In part 2, test connectivity using ping. And finally, discover the path by tracing the route. Coming to the part 1, complete the addressing table documentation. Click PC1 and click the desktop tab, command prompt. Enter the IP config slash all command to collect the IPv4 information. Fill in the addressing table with the IPv4 address, submit to mask and default gateway. We will collect the IPv4 address from PC1. Coming to PC1, desktop, command prompt. Here we will give that command IP config forward slash all. And here we can see the details. Here we can see the IP address. We will copy this address. And coming to PC1, here is the IP address okay then here we can see the submit to mask okay then coming to the default gateway here we can see that it's ready okay next to click pc2 and click the desktop tab command prompt enter uh, the same command what be given ip config forward slash all to collect ipv4 information fill in the addressing table with the ipv4 address submit to mask and the default gateway okay now we will move it to this uh, device pc2 coming to pc2 desktop command prompt here we are going to give IP config forward slash all and here we can see the details IP address you will copy this address and coming to our spreadsheet this is for PC2 IP address then here we can see the submit to mask here it is and the default gateway okay it's ready now we will come to step 2 use IPv6 config to verify IPv6 addressing on PC1 enter the IPv6 config uh, space uh, forward slash all command to collect the IPv6 information. Okay, here we have to give IPv6 config. Then uh, fill in the addressing table with the IPv6 address, subnet prefix, and default gateway. The same way we have to uh, check on PC2 and we have to fill uh, the addressing table with this IPv6 address, subnet prefix, and default gateway. We can do that. We will come to PC1 command prompt we can give uh, control C IPv6 config space slash all and here we can see the details here we can see IPv6 address we will copy this address this is PC1 so here is our IPv6 address for PC1. Okay. Then the default gateway. 
Surely it is F E eight zero double colon one. Now we will go to PC two command prompt. We will press Ctrl Z. Then here we will give IPv6 config space forward slash all. And here we can see IPv6 address uh, for this PC2. We will uh, copy this address. Coming to spreadsheet PC2, here is IPv6 address. Then the default gateway. Here is that. We will copy this. Coming to spreadsheet. And here we can see the details. Now we will come to part 2 test connectivity using ping. Step 1 use ping to verify IPv4 connectivity. From PC1 ping the IPv4 address for PC2. Was the result successful? We will verify that. We will get the IPv4 address of uh, PC2. Coming to our spreadsheet, PC2, here we can see IPv4 address. So we will copy this address. Then coming to PC1, we'll go to command prompt. Here we will uh, ping to PC2. Here is the PC2 IPv4 address. And we are waiting for the replies. It's working. Now from PC2, ping the IPv4 address for PC1. Uh, was the result successful? We will check that. We will get the IPv4 address of uh, PC1. Here is that. We will copy this uh, IPv4 address. Then coming to PC2, then we will ping to PC1. Command prompt here we will give the command ping then the IPv4 address of our PC1. Here is that. And here we can see it's working. Now we will uh, go to step 2. Use ping to verify IPv6 connectivity. Uh, from PC1, ping the IPv6 address for PC2. Was the result successful? We will verify that. First of all, we will get the IPv6 address of PC2. Here is that PC2. We will get the IPv6 address only. Then we will go to PC1, command prompt. Here we will have ping to PC2. Here is IPv6 address. And here we can see uh, we get the replies. Also from PC2, ping the IPv6 address of PC1. Was the result successful? We will verify that. We will get the IPv6 address of uh, PC1. Here is that. We'll copy this address. Now we will go to uh, PC2. Command prompt. Here we will uh, ping to PC1. Here is IPv6 address. And here we can see we get the replies. Now we will go to part 3 discover the path by tracing the route. Step 1 I use a tracer to discover the IPv4 path. From PC1 trace the route to PC2. Uh, we have to give this command a trace cert, uh, then a PC2 IPv4 address. What addresses were encountered along the path? We will verify that. Just we will copy this command. Then we will go to PC1 command prompt and here we will paste that uh, command. Then we'll press enter. Sure, we can see the details. Trace complete. Here we can see the path.
Next is uh, with which interfaces are the four addresses associated? We can verify that using our addressing table. Here we can see our first address. It's a 10.10.1.97. Here we can see uh, it's a device R1 interface G0 slash 0. Next address is a 10.10.1.5. Uh, this address we can see uh, the interface serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 on this uh, ruler R2. Coming to the next address, uh, 10.10.1.10. Uh, here we can see that uh, it belongs to the interface uh, serial uh, 0 slash 0 slash 1 uh, on this uh, device R3. And finally, 10.10.1.20. Uh, so here we given a tracer for this device. Uh, it's a PC2. Yes, so here we can see that it's PC2. Now we will come to B. From PC2, trace the route to PC1. What addresses were encountered along the path? Uh, with which interfaces are the four addresses associated? We will check that. So we have to get the IPv4 address of PC1. Here it is, we will copy it. Then coming to PC2, command prompt, here we are going to give a tracer to PC1. Here is the IPv4 address. And here we can see the addresses. Now we will verify these addresses associated with uh, which uh, interfaces. So coming to our addressing table. First address is a 10.10.1.17. Here we can see 10.10.1.17 uh, is for the interface G0 slash 0 on this device R3. Next is a 10.10.1.9. Here we can see that uh, for the interface serial 0 slash 0 slash 1 uh, on this router R2. Next is 10.10.1.6. Here is that for the interface serial 0 slash 0 slash 1 uh, on this device R1. And finally, uh, our uh, uh, PC1 IP address 10.10.1.100. Correct. Now we will come to step 2. Use a tracer to discover the IPv6 path. Uh, from PC1, trace the route uh, to the IPv6 address for PC2. Uh, we have to give this command. We will copy it. Then what addresses were encountered along the path? With which interfaces are the four addresses associated? We will verify that. We will uh, go to PC1, command prompt. And here we are going to paste that tracer command. And here we can see the details. Five addresses. One, two, three, four. It's four. Okay. Now we will verify with which uh, interfaces uh, these addresses are associated. So we will go to our addressing table and we can verify that. Here we can see our first address. Uh, 2001 colon db8 colon 1 colon 1 double colon 1 so here we can see that ipv6 address uh, for the interface g0 slash 0 uh, on this device uh, r1 next address is a uh, 2001 colon db8 colon 1 colon 2 double colon 1 here we can see that ipv6 address uh, for the interface serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 on this device r2 Next address is a 2001 colon db8 colon 1 colon 3 double colon 2. Here we can see that IPv6 address for the interface serial 0 slash 0 slash 1 uh, on this router R3. And the last address a 2001 colon db8 colon 1 colon 4 double colon A 
so this is the address what be given here in this uh, tracer the ipv6 address of uh, pc2 and uh, finally from pc2 trace the route uh, to the ipv6 address for pc1 uh, what addresses were encountered along the path with which interfaces are the four addresses associated we will get the uh, ipv6 address of uh, pc1 here we can see that we will copy this address now we will go to pc2 command prompt and here we will give uh, the tracer command and here is the ipv6 address so for pc1 and here we can see uh, the ipv6 addresses now we will check the interfaces uh, for these ipv6 addresses okay coming to our addressing table here we can see the first address 2001 colon db8 colon 1 colon 4 double colon 1 here we can see that IPv6 address for the interface G0 slash 0 uh, on this router R3. Next address is 2001 colon db8 colon 1 colon 3 double colon 1. Uh, here we can see that. It's correct. For the interface serial 0 slash 0 slash 1 on this router R2. The third address 2001 colon db8 colon 1 colon 2 double colon 2. Okay, so here we can see that it's here uh, for the interface serial 0 slash 0 slash 1 on this router R1. And uh, finally, the IPv6 address of our uh, device PC1. Great. Yes, it's done. In this video, we have seen how to verify IPv4 and IPv6 addressing. So friends, just stay tuned and we will meet again with the next video. Thank you.